What's up with that? What's up though, YouTube? I'm Deron the Mastodon, and welcome to another episode of Respect the Six. And of course, if you're new to the channel, be sure to check out the other episodes of Respect the Six. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Got plenty more videos on the way, you already know. In this episode of Respect the Six, I'm making this video because I recently watched a video where someone gave their opinion on mods that will help your V6 be able to keep up with the RT. And I do not like their list. You know what I'm saying? Nothing against that person and, and whatnot. I'm gonna tell you who it is in a second because I ain't afraid to name drop. Yeah, I didn't agree with the list because I feel like if somebody who didn't know shit about uh, the V6 and they were really interested in modding their car, if they were to follow his list, they would be very disappointed because their car would not keep up with an RT with the mods that he had listed. You know what I'm saying? So the YouTuber that I'm referring to is Ronnie's Review. I just didn't agree with his list because if you're gonna to try to tell people how their V6 can keep up with an RT, you need to be focused on the horsepower and the torque. That's the only thing you need to be focused on. So the four things that he recommended for mods that'll help your V6 keep up with an RT is a cold air intake, which I agree with, and exhaust, I agree with, but the last two, he said a Hellcat air box and a pedal box. Uh, the pedal box is not going to help your horsepower and your torque. That's supposed to get rid of the lag in your throttle response. You feel what I'm saying? That's all that shit's meant to do. It makes the shit a lot sensitive, makes the shit jumpy. You know what I'm saying? Watch my Roar pedal review. You know what I'm saying? As far as a Hellcat air box, when it comes to that, as long with, along with the cold air intake, it's not going to give you the max. You know, I know with the KNN is like 10 to 15 horsepower gain. You're not going to see that shit without other components. You know what I'm saying? The exhaust is just one part of the components. There's a lot of other shit that you have to do in order to see that 10 to 15 horsepower gain for a K&N uh, cold air intake. You understand what I'm saying? This whole year, I've been focused on performance mods. I think I can give a better list of what performance mods will help your V6 keep up with an RT. So if you continue to watch the video, I'm finna tell you the list right now. First, let's get the obvious out the way. The exhaust. Now I'm gonna throw an exhaust clip up in here, probably inside the cabin, because I'm not finna start up and do some revs and shit. Now with the exhaust, you have to have either an X pipe or an H pipe. A Y pipe setup is going to leave horsepower on the table. It's restrictive. You have to have a true dual exhaust, all right? Whether you do a custom exhaust or get a performance exhaust. I made an exhaust video a couple episodes ago. Go ahead and check that out. So obviously the next one would be the cold air intake. Now with the cold air intake, you don't need to be sitting up here dropping fucking $300 for a goddamn cold air intake. Fucking basically do the same shit. It's, it's less restrictive than the stock air box. It gets air to the engine. That's what you want. You want to get more air to the engine so it performs better. You know what I'm saying? It's wild that people want to spend $300 on a cold air intake, but hey, it's your money, your mods. Do what you got to do. All right, so this is the cold air intake that I went with. It's AF Dynamic. I mean, you know, with the, the straight pipe right here, just free flowing air all the way to the engine. And that's going to lead me to mod number three right here, which is the throttle body. If you do not increase the size of your throttle body, you are not beating the RT. You're not keeping up with the RT. You're not doing shit. Right, right here is an 80 millimeter throttle body, but if you gonna stick with the 74 uh, millimeter stock one, you're not gonna do shit. This right here is an important mod. This is probably one of the best mods that I've done to my V6 so far, honestly. This video has done so well because nobody else had put out a video installing the 80 millimeter throttle body. The fourth mod I'd say is, get this right here. Rips coil packs, watch their videos. They installed this shit on the V6 and I think it got 10 to 12 horsepower just off the install. Like I said, we have to focus on the horsepower and the torque. This right here will help you and it's worth the money. But like I said, all these components can't be utilized to the max unless you do one more thing and that's mod number five. So this right here will be mod number five, the Diablo Sports Tuner. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna do shit without a tune, period. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm surprised he didn't mention this in his video. Uh, he might have forgot, but the can tune is pretty good. It will definitely wake your car up, but not like a custom tune. That's the only thing that I'm missing is a custom tune for this. But I'm going to do a dyno with the mods that I have now set in the previous video. So that way y'all have the numbers so y'all know how fast the car goes. But after that, I'm going to get the custom tune done, go back to the dyno so we see what type of gains we have. So that way, if anybody really wants to put their V6 up there with the RTs, the stock ones at least, 
they can just watch my videos, follow my lead. Y'all see this right here? This is not just the name of the series for my car content on YouTube. This right here is more of a movement for me. So if we're gonna put out information to help other V6 owners, it gotta be accurate. You know what I'm saying? This ain't a video trying to slander Ronnie's review for what he um, put out, but if we're gonna put out information to help V6 owners, it gotta be accurate. So this right here is a movement. But that's pretty much the end of it, y'all. So do the cold air intake, do the exhaust, throttle body, that's a must. That should be number one right there. Rip coil pack, get the Diablo Sports Tuner. Extra shit would be like the lower intake manifold that I did. You know what I'm saying? The roar pedal, that helps, but that's not gonna be the number one mod I go to for um, being the RT. But all right, y'all, that's gonna wrap up this episode of Respect the Six. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, more content on the way. Until then, y'all, I'm out.